Hey everybody, it's Tyler Binkley here, and today we're looking at the Gem Farm section in Swift Playgrounds. This is in the For Loops chapter, which is in the Learn to Code 1 playground. So let's see. Gem Farm, it says, Challenge, decompose multiple patterns into functions and loops. In this challenge, there are gems to collect and switches to toggle open. You'll need to identify the patterns for gem collection and switch activation. Then you'll write a function for each pattern and figure out how many times that you'll need to call those functions using loops. All right, so let's see here. I mean, there's, there's definitely multiple ways of solving this, um, this playground or this uh, section here, Gem Farm. And, you know, I see on the top we got all those switches and on the bottom we have all the gems. And we think about it, like one row has two switches and one row has two gems. So uh, if we just kind of broke it down by row, um, we could easily just make a loop and think, I mean, they're, they're the exact same, right? Like one row is exactly the same as the next. So when I think about this, when I think about just making a loop, and having it do the same thing three times because there's three rows that are exactly the same. And I know this talks about adding functions and things like that, and that's certainly possible and doable, but I really do just think a loop here is going to be the easiest. So let's see, if we do a for loop and I want the number to be three, knowing that there's three rows that are exactly the same. So let, let's see, um, I'm just going to code one one loop or one row and then I should be good, right? Because if I have one row, uh, all the other rows are going to be the same. So let's see, uh, I'm going to turn left, right? And then that would get me facing the switches. So I'm gonna move forward, toggle switch, move forward, toggle switch. I need to turn around so I might do two left-hand turns and then I'm gonna move forward twice to get back to the beginning. And then I'm going to move forward, collect gem, move forward, collect gem. And then I need to turn around with two left-hand turns. And then I'm coming back to the beginning, so move forward, move forward. And that should put me back at the arrow. And let's see if I did that right real quickly. So got the switches there. We're turning around. We're coming down. Got the gems turning around. Okay. And now look, it's going to repeat that. So I'm going to stop there. So I got back to the beginning. Now what I need to do is turn right and move forward, right? Because if I do that, that should get me to the next row. So let's see if we have this under control. So here's the first row. Okay, let's see if I added the right turn, move forward. Okay, now look, it's just repeating the whole thing one more time and it's getting back to the beginning and it's gonna repeat the whole thing one more time because I gave it the number of three to loop. And that should take us right back to the beginning there. And there you go. I didn't use any functions. Um, we certainly could have, but there's so many different ways to solve all of these. I, I just think a, a loop with three exact same rows was the best way to conquer that one. So uh, if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.